So that's basically how she can. How do we get our organisation, whoever we are, with everyone focused on us being the best? The underlying belief is each person is the expert in his or her own job. It's founded on, uh, an American once said, the guy who knows that 25 square feet of floor space best is the guy that lives there. And you can see what's happened with Toyota. They started this back in the 1950s. Year on year on year, they narrowed the gap on people like General Motors until last year, they went past them to become the world's biggest and, and most powerful uh, car making company. It's a long term plan. I'd like to ask you to close your eyes is to just think it's about five years on from now and you have invited the journalist and you've let them come into your organisation and then a few weeks later they publish an article about your organisation and it's the centre spread. Think about what you would like that article to read. Now Walt Disney used to call this Imagineering. He said if you can dream it, you can make it happen. Hoshin Canary is about making that dream happen. The ideal of Hoshin Canary over here is that if we can get that alignment, we can get uh, people working across processes, then the obviously the output starts to go up and it goes up and it goes up. What really matters most if you're in a competitive environment is first of all, where are you compared with your leading competition? And not just you're here and there, here or the other way about. It's how fast you're heading in that direction. It's the speed that you're going that way that counts. Even the smallest improvements that give you a competitive edge. And when you sum them up, the effect of it makes you unbeatable. Every year on average, 2,600,000 improvement suggestions of which 96% are implemented. If you work it out, that's about 40 a month per employee. And it's really pragmatic, down-to-earth management. We want to win, we want to be the best. What's the best way of doing it?